Well, liberal arts and science is a rather old educational system from the United States and basically it means that you have the freedom of choice to choose which subjects you really want to study and the ones which you really like. Um, so for instance, in Maastricht, um, I knew that I wanted to study social science, but when I started I didn't know what I wanted to do, whether it was law or international relations, psychology or sociology. So I could try a lot of subjects and then in my second year I decided that I was really wanting to study international relations and law and so this is what I've been doing since two years. For me, liberal arts and sciences is very much linked to the idea of problem-based learning. So it's not just that you sit in a tutorial and discuss about problems with other students and thus try to acquire knowledge about these problems, but it's also the idea that as a student you come with a problem to this type of study and this type of study allows you to answer the, the problems that you yourself have. First of all, that means that uh, I get the epistemological tools to answer the problems that I have. I get the uh, tools in general to uh, work on a problem and to discuss problems with other people and to work, try to work on a solution for, for these questions that I might have. And on the other hand, I get a lot of perspectives that allow me to look at a problem from different angles and uh, thus get to a more complete answer than a single discipline might arrive at. Liberal arts means that you have the freedom to choose whatever subjects you're really interested in. Um, however, it also means that you get a broad education so, for instance, at UCM we have core courses representing the basic knowledge that everyone should have. Um, these are courses like modeling nature, political philosophy, philosophy of science or contemporary world history. In addition to that, we have to take courses out of our concentration. So, I'm concentrated in international relations and law, which is part of the social science. And I also took two courses in the life science and two courses in the humanities to complement my basic knowledge. Um, in the end, that means that when I start um, to work somewhere, I'm an expert in two subjects, two combinations that wouldn't have been possible in Germany, until now, obviously. Um, but I also know a lot of other things, which enables me to um, look at the world from different perspectives. And if there is a problem, I don't only have the perspective of social sciences, but I also know what it means to nature or what the historical perspective of it would be. I think it's a very student-centered approach around university education. The ideal situation in problem-based learning, which is what is practiced in Maastricht, would be that the tutor would be silent all the time and you as a group of 10 to 12 students discuss a problem and thereby come up with uh, your own answers. And that's the ideal thing. And uh, it's really about student-to-student -student teaching in that respect. Well, I would say, especially in Germany, um, study programs are very rigid. If you start, you decide that you want to become a doctor or a teacher or a lawyer, and then you decide to study medicine or law or education, for instance. Um, liberal arts enables you to find out what you really want and start becoming good at that. Um, University College Freiburg, as well as University College Maastricht, um, combine their courses with a large amount of skills work. So we're not only trained in academic learning, but also in how we approach things. So there's going to be skills courses such like presentation skills, oral skills, um, writing skills. Um, so we don't only know how to um, process knowledge, but also how to use it. And um, yeah, this is very practical, especially when working later on, because we know how to, how to speak to people, how to deliver speeches, how to give a presentation, how to write evaluations. What makes it special, I think, is also that it uh, encourages a sort of a community of student f uh, feeling. It's very much um, a feeling that you work together towards a goal and that you're not competitors in, uh, in any sort of sense for grades or knowledge or whatever which you might have in other uh, subjects. Um, but rather you have uh, this idea that you as a student community um, are working to achieve something and that also reflects in other areas of student life and student interactions.
Well, especially in Germany, I'm always asked if I'm drawing because it's liberal arts and then there's science, but a lot of people don't know what that exactly means. Um, and a lot of people think it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of leisure time, which definitely isn't the case. It's a hard pro core program and a lot of studying to do. Especially because in addition to becoming an expert in one field, you have to gain all this basic knowledge in other fields, which is of course an extra workload in comparison to other subjects. I'm, I think the biggest misconception is that you just study because you don't know what you want to do and you just study some subjects and you don't really get any uh, expert knowledge on anything and therefore you are not really anything when you finish, some sort of liberal artist. Um, but I think that's very much a wrong conception because um, on the one hand the ideal uh, liberal arts student would be somebody who knows very clearly what sort of questions he or she has and what uh, things help her him to find an answer. 